Hello, it's me, it's Geeky. In case you didn't know, um, it's not it's not Neon or Squid King or Pinky Boots. It's Geeky, Neon's filming. Hello. Um, so I'm excited because I finally got the PowerCon Shira. That's the origin Shira they have coming out. Now the ones you're gonna get in the stores is gonna have a distinct difference where she does not have brushable hair because Mattel doesn't listen. But the ones from PowerCon do. So I just got this today, and we're gonna take a look at it. And then I brought some classic dolls that we can compare them to right here. This is my Christmas present right there, one of them. That was my Christmas present from last year. Mm. So both Christmas presents. Anyway, because of course I have the classic dolls on me. So, okay, I did look at the box. Oh my God, the box is so cool. You gotta see this box. There is the box. With like the old style art. Isn't it amazing? And now I'll show you the back. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it makes me so happy. I can't even tell you. Okay, so now I have not opened it yet. I just saw the box in the box. And I didn't even open it. I was saving it for you. weird in the eyes it has a 35th on it yeah that's not really Shira's face no it's not but hey at least we're getting a Shira and she does have brushable hair it's hard to see I don't know if I want to open her or not oh wait she slides this does this slide out it slides out this part slides out okay there we go so there I can put it back together then so here's here. Let's compare to. Let me take the one. Let me take the faceplate off of this one. Well, we use. We'll do apples to apples here. So here is the original. If they were worried about her having too pretty of a face, they fixed it with this one. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm still glad to get her, but her face is definitely different. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, at least they're doing one. Uh, yeah, you know, I like the gold better than the yellow. I yeah, me too. Her yellow. shields also down there. I fixed it. Um, so this one does have the brushable hair. I do like that her hairbrush is a battle axe because, you know, of course it is. So you can see the brushable hair on her. Now the ones in the store are going to have molded. Mm -hmm. I think it's basically the same other than that. Um, she's really cool, though. And she's got like, it looks like her feet are jointed and she's got like... Yeah, it looks like she has, maybe not. Yeah, her feet are jointed. And she has more joints, so she's more poseable, which is cool. So let's see what this is. I'll have to put her back together then because she's awesome. So let me see. Does this open? It does. Oh, oh. my God. Yes. Okay, that's cool. I think I'll have to get Claudine. Oh, yay. This is awesome. So we have a, a comic and the card back put together. That's pretty cool. But we even got some of her fashions in here. Because okay. back in the day, they used to sell fashions for for the, the figures. And they even got that incorporated. Oh, wow. Okay, the card back's awesome. And the art style looks a lot like the older art styles. You know, not so Cal Arts. <laughs> yeah, so if this 35th up here, okay, that's beautiful. Hordak, it is not that Hordak's beautiful, but you know what I mean. And on the back side, so when you open the back, it gets this big okay, that's uh, A plus plus for packaging. Oh, look, they even hold they even hid Loki in there or Loki. Where's he? oh, yeah, there he is. Found me, found Loki, the cow. Oh. I have to get a cow too. I never have ever had a cow. I do have bow and arrow, and I have glimmer. Um, so this is it. It's really cool. I love this. This is amazing. I love that she has brushable hair. My only real complaint is that her face looks weird. Yeah, she doesn't really look like Shira. Yeah, if you compare them. Mm. And now the old, the original Shira's, her hair was more two tone, and this one is looks like it's this one. But I don't, that's okay. 
But the face just doesn't look like her on the face. It was just the face was fixed. But I... you'll tell you what, I am excited to get a, a, a She-Ra and a brushable She-Ra. Because all the dang toys that keep putting out, um, Sensio, they've had new toys and, and, you know, with the collector's editions and stuff, except for the big dolls, they always have molded hair. Yeah. Which, you know what, Mattel? Come on. Brushable hair. It is the way. I have spoken. Um, I don't care if male collectors don't like it. They just haven't, they just haven't brushed enough hair. Because they don't know the glory of brushing hair. So, in, to make up for the fact that I'm not taking out of the box, um, I have brought a brush. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. we, we can brush this one's hair. Brush the hair. Now, see, she had two-tone hair before. And both, both, both of the dolls, her and the starburst you can see the two-tone mm. hair on them so there we go there is the new she-ra i'm loving the box i love the card back that is amazing uh only thing i would say is the face needs some work <laughs> it's a joke in there yeah it it yeah she's a little odd they looking. didn't make her too pretty they don't have to worry about that argument anymore yeah if it's just the face was different other than that, it's a slam dunk, I think. Mm hmm So. And the stone should have been shiny. Yeah. They always had the shiny stone. I mean, they got they got this right. The, mm hmm It's like the holographic. And I like that her belt's a little thicker. It's not like this, you know, the, like here they had them. They were kind of like, uh, they were more like a plastic sticker. Yeah. Um, this is a sticker, but it's not more of a thicker. It's like not fabric. It's like a sticker on the plastic, which is kind of nice. Um, but the skirts and the old ones, I think, were better than this. Yeah, they even gave her the face of like when they had the uh, the 2004 version of her mm -hmm. from Comic Con. That that was a nice face, but but this was from PowerCon. It was a PowerCon exclusive. I had to order it months ago. Um, people were, I think, were a little upset because they wanted it for Christmas. They she wasn't coming from a school for Christmas, but I finally got it before the end of the year. So I'm very excited. And I wanted to make sure I showed you all the Shira. The, the, the new version of She-Ra. Like I said, I, I believe, I could be mistaken, but this is pretty much what we're going to see with the one that's coming to the stores this mm. next year. But she will not have brushable hair. It'll be molded. Much to many people's dismay. Yeah. So are you ready to wrap this up? I, yeah. Go brush some hair. Okay, so brush some hair for just a minute. Hair. I'll, I'll, I'll take you out on brushing hair. Or should I get one more look at the card back? Oh, here, hair. I can do that while you brush the hair. Okay. I'm telling you, male collectors don't like brushable hair. You just need to brush the hair, and you will understand why it's amazing and why it was necessary. Yeah, that's this is some of the nicest packaging, though. It's beautiful, and I like that you can put it back together. It's done in such a way that you know they did this with other other dolls in the big boxes too. Mm -hmm. That you can take them out to look at them, but you can put it all back together and put it back in the the big box. And I like that, so you can actually you know touch it and everything else. Like anyway. So you every, yeah, you wrap this up, I guess, because you're just like weirded out by me right now. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You done? I'm done. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.